scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Hey, Charlie. Why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Major, one of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right? I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. <laughs> oh, so that's why I get my ass kicked. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his alpha connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique. And it's shape and look at <laughs> New scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Wow. 
Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. Holy fuck, Charles! Is that the process I just activated? Darn where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? You metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was clear. Scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Left. Found. Location Pavlov floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No! This is terrible. It plunged into something warm and sticky. Oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting! What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. This whale's life was transferred into a polymer vessel thanks to the brilliance of Soviet scientists. Polymer mimetic owes its existence to these amazing animals. Nowadays, polymers are made to adapt inside the human body without triggering rejection, and even replace damaged organs. Research is still far from complete, but one thing is certain. This polymer whale is the first step to... What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That Four. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why couldn't it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Me running. That polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Shit, it's dark here. The Neptune Complex is an underwater city that has been located at the bottom of Lake Lazur since Crispy fucking... Fuck me. We're Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite are is not the only country. We can't let Cap. So where's the fairy top?
This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. Let's see if this thing helps. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head... <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This'll be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? I think I get it. getting somewhere. Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? Oh, 
Just a sec. Is it really that difficult? Crispy goddamn fucking critters! Oh, for fuck, you know, Charles, I guess, without saying anything. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Let us nice. Easy. The summer morn when warmth and beauty mingle, at the path's turn, a carcass lay a sprawl upon a... Yes, found the head. We got to keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure. But definitely not much. So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in... Right. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one. Zero, zero, oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequence is matched. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. All employees are to evacuate the complex immediately. Please, Comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov. You're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first, I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilievich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the Minister of Industry. You know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov. May I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes.
Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> 